Welcome to Dit Dot. My name is Amanda, and I am sure there is a lot of you out there, just like me, that loves homemade pastas like raviolis and dumplings and breads and even crepes. Sometimes you just want to enjoy those types of dinners without having to go through the process of making it homemade. I mean, hello, I use frozen raviolis all the time so that I can focus on the sauce or the filling of a dish. Well, so when the sponsor of today's video, Belgian Boys, reached out and asked if I would like to try some of their products, including these crepes, I was so excited because crepes are really delicious. And they can sometimes, let's be honest, be a little bit of a pain to cook. So in this video, I'm going to use these crepes that Belgian Boys gifted me, and we're going to make two savory and a sweet application. The first one is going to be chicken Florentine crepes, and I am so excited to give this a try. So let's get started cooking. The first thing we're gonna do in a large skillet is get a pat of butter melted, and then I, I peeled, chopped, and diced some onion and garlic and then we're going to go ahead and put that in the skillet and get it started to saute so i'm going to keep this kind of on a medium to medium low heat and we're just going to get these onions and garlic nice and soft while my onions are cooking i'm going to take some frozen spinach and thaw it out in the microwave i'm using this berry bowl I'm hoping that might help catch some of the liquid and strain out the spinach. Squeezing out microwave spinach is just not one of my favorite kitchen tasks. So I'm constantly trying to find the best solution. And when I land on it, don't you worry, I will share that. Now that the onions have had a few minutes to soften, I'm going to grate a carrot over the skillet you can also use, you know, like julienne carrots that you can buy in like a bag at the grocery store. You can throw this in your food processor really quick or just give it a really fine, spinach is still going, give it a fine chop. Just for quickness sake, I'm just going to use my absolute favorite microplaner and grate this carrot right up in the skillet. I want the carrot to just kind of melt into the ingredients. This is working pretty well. I microwaved it for three minutes, so it's still a little chilled, but it's, it's thawed out, but it's not so hot to touch. And I'm using my wooden paddle against this strainer and just straining it into the bottom of this bowl, which you could also do over the sink. It's actually doing a pretty good job of getting a bunch of the liquid out. Whatever you do, do not skip this step. Look how much water came out of that spinach. This bowl was overflowing and now it's like a third full. <laughs> I went ahead and turned this off because I didn't want it to burn while I was straining my spinach. And now I'm going to go ahead and add it in. And then I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. Okay, I have some cans of chicken. I think canned chicken is excellent for a quick dinner dish like this. And you could also use some leftover shredded chicken that you have from earlier in the week. But tonight, canned chicken it is. Okay, so I just used that same strainer and I rinsed the chicken out. The one that I buy is just water and salt, but I kind of like to rinse it a little bit to give this a nice stir to warm the skillet back up. And then we're gonna add in some Parmesan cheese. And this will be the stuffing for our crepes. And then I'm gonna make a sauce to go on top. Parmesan cheese a chance to melt while I gather up ingredients so that we can make a yummy sauce to put on top of these crepes. Okay, since I don't cook with recipes, I always, one of my hints is to use the size skillet that I want to work towards because I tend to cook to the skillet. So if I got a big pot out, I'd be making a ton of sauce. Having a small skillet here just helps me remember 
I'm only making a small amount tonight, so I don't want to make a ton of sauce. So I'm going to again start off with a decent pat of butter. We're going to give that a chance to get nice and melted. Grab a whisk, and then I'm going to add about equal parts of the butter to flour. So this is way too much flour, but I'm just going to sprinkle in a little bit of flour. Give it a whisk to get my butter. All the flour needs to be wet by the butter. It will be lumpy, that's okay. I'm going to add a little bit of milk at a time. And you wanna whisk, 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 get all the lumps out at this stage before you add any more milk. And it'll thicken up pretty quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and lower it down because I don't want my flour to burn. A little bit more milk and keep whisking, get rid of lumps. Then we're gonna season it with some salt, pepper, and cheese. Salt, some black pepper, some more of that Parmesan. My whisk is gonna get itself hot. <laughs> Do that all the time. Leave it in my skillet and with a gas stove, it'll get hot. Okay, so add in some Parmesan. We're gonna whisk that and then I'm gonna add in some mozzarella. Let this stir, we're gonna give it a taste and then we'll assemble our crepes. Oh, my cheese isn't all the way melted, but I'm just gonna taste it for the salt. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Mm, that's so good. Okay, so I have my filling right here and I'm going to add a little bit of the sauce to the filling itself and then we'll reserve the, this part to put on top of the crepes. So I'm gonna get that stirred in. It just kind of helps add, make a little bit of a glue to our filling, which I never did taste. So I'm gonna give it a quick taste before we stuff it to make sure the salt is good for it. Mm, perfect. And now we will open our crepe box. There are seven in this box. All right, so here they come. And they say once, uh, the box says, once it's been thawed out in the refrigerator, you wanna use it within three days. So beautiful, delicate. Okay, so I'm gonna take one and I'm going to add some Stuffing right down the middle. Roll it up and add it to my greased pan here. I'll do that with the rest of them. Okay, so I have them in my pan and I'm going to cover them up with the rest of this sauce. And I'm gonna stick them in my oven 375 for about 15 minutes just to let everything kind of cook together, warm the crepes up and get everything nice and delicious. And then we'll plate and taste. Mmm, so good. Here's the final crepes chicken florentine and Let's give them a taste. It's got the chicken, and the carrots, and the spinach. Mm, this is so good. The crepes are light. Mm. I'm gonna bite this one, that's just the crepe. Mm. Oh, hey, these are amazing. These are so good. I cannot wait to try them in the other applications that I have planned. So that'll be through the magic of editing right now. And with the magic of editing, we're here on day two. And today for lunch, although this would be really good for breakfast too, I'm gonna make a ham, cheese, and egg crepe. This would also be really, I'm just making one, cause it's like the convenience of these crepes. You can just pull one out or you can make up a whole batch of these for a brunch, It'd be excellent. So I popped my crepe in the microwave just for 15 seconds to soften it up. Last night when I made the chicken Florentine, 
um, when you folded them straight from the fridge, they had a tendency to crack. So if you warm them up for a little bit in the microwave, it's gonna make them much more pliable. I learned that last night. And I quickly just scrambled up some eggs. What I'm gonna do is put down a slice of cheese. I'm using Havarti, Swiss would also be a really good choice, provolone, mozzarella, whatever your favorite cheese is and a slice of deli ham. And then I'm going to put the egg right down the middle, just like we did with our Florentine. This is two eggs, just because I'm gonna make one crepe for lunch. And so I figured two would make it nice and filling. And again, I'm gonna roll it up. Probably should have made two smaller ones, but we're gonna have a big old hearty crepe for lunch. And then I've got my toaster oven preheating 375. I'm just gonna pop it in long enough to get the cheese like ooey and melty. It shouldn't take very long. You could also put it in your air fryer. You're just wanting to, again, warm the ham, melt the cheese. So we'll be back plated and ready to taste. It really only took five minutes to get that cheese melted and I paired it with some avocado and it looks really good. See how we like this breakfast ham and cheese crepe. Ham, cheese, egg crepe. Mm. Mm. That's so good. Okay. <laughs> I really think this is gonna be a go-to lunch for me is so easy to make. It's delicious. You could put in mushrooms and other vegetables, like, you know, chop up some sweet peppers. Mm. Mm. Having these Belgian boys crepes makes having a fun crepe dish like this so much more accessible because making from crepes from scratch, totally fun, but now you can have crepes more often. <laughs> All right. so. I've got one more dish coming up, and this time it's gonna be a sweet treat. So stay tuned to the end of the video. For the last dish for this video, I'm going to be making a custard filled crepe with strawberries on top. So in a small saucepan, I'm going to whisk together three egg yolks, one cup of milk, whole milk, a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna whisk this up and Get those egg yolks beaten in. And while this comes up to a boil, which we are gonna keep our eye closely on, I'm going to, in a dry bowl, mix together half a cup of sugar, three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, my ring light just died on me, and a teaspoon of cornstarch. So I'm just going to make sure that these dry ingredients get nice and incorporated. And we're gonna bring this up to a boil. Okay, we had to change over to my actual stove top because my single burner kept throwing the breaker. So that's why my ring light went out. But once it comes up to a boil, and you see how it's kind of bubbling around the edge, we will add our dry ingredients and then lower the heat. I'm gonna let it come up to a little bit stronger of a boil. Okay, now I'm gonna add in the dry ingredients and we're gonna whisk thoroughly until it thickens into a nice custard. Lower the heat. Thickening up pretty quickly. But I wanna make sure, give that flour a chance to cook and get all the lumps out. Probably should have sieved my flour. That would have made it less lumpy, but I'm just making a quick dessert here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off because it's nice and thick and we'll make some crepes. Okay, so I took one of my crepes from the Belgian Boys box and I'm going to, I microwaved it for 30 seconds and I'm gonna take some of this custard that came together so quickly and so deliciously. And I'm gonna do the quarter fold this time. So on my previous ones, mm, chef gets to lick her fingers. On the previous ones, I rolled it, but today I'm going to fold it. 
or today in this one. I'm gonna fold it. So I'm gonna add some chopped up strawberries. I didn't add any sugar or anything like this because I don't want it to be overly sweet. And then I'm just going to fold it in half, fold it in half again, put some strawberries around for beauty's sake, put a dollop of whipped cream, a fanned out strawberry. All I did was make a bunch of slices and then kind of push down on it. And a sprint of mig, <laughs> a, sprig, a sprig of mint <laughs> for a super fast, easy and delicious dessert. Now let's get some beauty shots of this and give it a taste. Hey, let's give this a taste. I love sweet custard. This is like, if I'm not gonna have chocolate, this is my kind of dessert. Although doing a drizzle of chocolate, oh my gosh, that'd be really good too. Mm. <laughs> yes, I'm so glad I didn't sweeten the strawberries because they add just the right like counterpart to all this sweetness. Mm. Y'all, this is so good. Mm. I want to say thank you again to Belgian Boys for sending me some fun products to try. I'm going to be doing some more interesting things with some of the things they sent on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm also dit dot there. And you can go onto their website and use the store locator to find where near you will sell the Belgian Boys products. And I am a fan. They're so good. Non-GMO, simple ingredients. Mwah, chef's kiss. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.